SBS wishes to advise Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island viewers that the following presentation may contain images or voices of deceased persons. The culture is stronger, stronger than ever. I mean, what they said is when they went out there as part of the initiation ceremony, they reckon because um, um, there's a strong belief in black magic and that as well. We call it mind, and um, uh, some don't believe in it, but others they they still it's very strong in that. And there's still that belief out there. It's real. I will never deny. Nobody here in the island will deny because we know it exists. And I believe I think it is still active here in our generation. Our mind is a real fair and a real thing. You have to go to a person and create a thing right there, whichever you want to read, get rid of, whichever person that you want to kill. This is how mind work in Maria Island. Here in Mer. Oh yeah. It exists. It's real. It's real like you touch a tree, it's real. And um, I believe it 100%. I don't practice it. I know of stories of some people that do practice it. If, if I were to get rid of someone who could tr try to trouble me, I go during a night hour, hide behind the bush straight across his house, and I use the word to try and get him off the bed, and he walked towards me, and I'm sitting here with a, what we call Zogomir, a magic charm, camouflage myself, he couldn't see me. I'm sitting here. I lure him right straight to me, then I use my power, my power to destroy and kill him. I, I, know, I know I do believe in black magic. This is before my belief returned to, I mean, to church. Yeah, because it happened to me. It happened to me. I had it for about five years, I don't even sabe. It's a pain, even though right now I'm still going through pain. I believe that, that there is an idol around. My, you just uh, gotta be careful. Yeah, just have to be careful who you drink with or who you socialize with. Another thing happened when the light came here, we call it the coming of the light. It visits the same place, Murray. It starts here. So most of us get in, involved in church very strong. Now, you, you interview me today, I'm the bishop of the Revelation Church of Jesus Christ. I won on the head church leader here in Mare. So the thing sort of swap over from another power to another power, see? from one god to another god. That maid and uh, Zogomir, it's, it is real. And I believe that the thing is still happening. They didn't know that whatever they practice behind their back, you know, in dark, it comes out in light. <laughs> Violence are very bad everywhere in this generation, even in Murray. And they can use it just for a fun game, you know, go and kill somebody. It still exists, it's active, but most of us we don't believe it. We know it's there, but we don't have to practice it. Taking the advice from our grandfathers. Like one of our, my uncle told me when I work in the railway down south. He said to me, well, we, I went and asked your granddad, Barrow, can you teach me might? And this is the reply from this man, my granddad, to his nephew. He said to him, no, when I go down to the ground, I take this with me. I'm not hand over to you. And if they hand over to us, we just go and destroy ourselves. Maybe Mayor will have no population like us today. We just get rid of ourselves just for nothing, for fun. Like we got terror attack everywhere in other countries. We have black nations killing themselves just for nothing. And I believe the same spirit works in every way, even in, in Mayor. So our granddads were very intelligent. They take everything with them, might and all, to the ground.